What is going on, dreamers? We are continuing with the Lil Darky reactions. Today, we're going to be checking out When the World Ends by Lil Darky. My little brother actually put me on this one. He said it's like some of it's clipped up and famous on TikTok or something like that. I'm not really on TikTok, so I have absolutely no idea. But it is at almost 8 million views, and it's only three years old, so obviously it's a banger. Before we jump into it, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you'd like to see next on the channel. And of course, subscribe to Dreamers Entertainment for more reactions. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Jimmy, would you please put on that one beat? Oh, shit. Sounds kind of sad. I was, uh, I'm sorry to pause so early, but I was having a conversation with my little brother about Lil Darky earlier, actually. We were listening to Meth Head Freestyle together, and he was like, um, how just, like, odd it is that, like, music changes so quickly, um, and how, like, this was how music was meant to be made during, like, this time period, like, 2017 to 2019, the X's, the Juice Worlds, the, uh, who else, who else? Who's that really uh, trippy red him like those type of songs were huge and now a lot of those guys have like not fell off but like they've sort of gone missing and there's like this new generation of like trap music and stuff coming up so it's kind of interesting Jimmy, some serious shit. spider game <laughs> I can see why this was big on TikTok for sure. I can see why this was big on TikTok. Just the way the 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 beat is. I know that sounds dumb as hell as a reaction channel. Just the way the beat is is fire. But like just the way the the beat is really really meshes well with like the theme of TikTok. And plus the song is also very short. It's only a minute and thirty seconds long, which was something that X did really well. His songs would always be very very short. And it would leave you wanting more. And if there's one person Lil Darky reminds me of, it's X Man. I, I I've repeated this many times in my Lil Darky reactions, but there's something about this guy that just it sends me back to a time where X was like that guy. And I was looking at some of the numbers on X's songs, and trust me, X was very much that guy. Like some of his songs are over a billion. I think Sad is at like 1.2 billion views, um, and some of his songs are like eight, seven, eight hundred million. It's like, bro, this guy took over in a very short amount of time too but let me let little darky shine man too much about x I hate it when teachers would do that dumb shit in school, bro. But you'd be like, can I do something? They're like, I don't know, can you? I would never switch it. I would never be like, oh, sorry, may I? I'm just like, no, I, I asked you a question. I'm not going to do this back and forth with you. You know what I meant? We're humans. We know how to extrapolate details from context, okay? And we're not doing this. Um, but yeah, my bad, my bad. That, that line just that line just caught me. What, one thing my little brother said earlier that kind of made me question his musical taste. He was like, Ladarki legit only has like three good songs for real. Everything else is trash. And I'm like, I don't know about that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think Lil Darky is overrated? Do you think it's more of like, you know, Spider Gang is fire and Lil Darky just adds to that? Or do y'all think Lil Darky like is the guy? Because for me, you know, from the journey I've been on with him for like the past couple of weeks, it seems like Lil Darky is the guy in that group. Like he's that guy in the group. And then the rest of them are sort of like support characters. Um, and plus, like, I think I've listened to already four or maybe five songs from Lil Darky and I've messed with all of them this being one of them although i would say this one's a bit too short i think that might be my only complaint is that this is a bit too short i need him to just add like a minute to this because i really like the beat and i also like the message it's like kind of a love song but it has that rap vibe to it something that again i keep bringing him up that x did real well was having like a love song but still keeping the essence of rap to it but this is fire i like this a lot Yeah. 
keep a grip up on the spine. I ain't read a book and lucky like it made me spine. That's not fine. That's not fine. If you haven't read a book in over a year, you need to pick one up. I think the, the last book um, that I read to completion was um, – I don't want to lie here. So I read The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene back in – I think I finished it in February, I want to say. Um, and then I, I read Never Split the Difference, um, which is another book about the art of persuasion and sales and that type of stuff and I want to say March is when I read that one and then recently in April I read the book by Robert Kiyosaki titled Rich Dad Poor Dad I read uh, that book and I also read the follow-up but I don't remember the name of the follow-up book to Rich Dad Poor Dad but reading books is really important um, and I actually read that book because there was like some MLM, MLM uh, that tried to like recruit me and if you guys want me to drop a video on that, I almost got recruited to Amway and I read up on it, read how much of a freaking scam that place is in terms of like its leadership stru structure and the payment structure. And I almost fell for it because, yeah, I, anyways, if you want a video on that, just let me know. If anybody else shares a similar experience with Amway or has a more positive one, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get back into Lil Darky. Yeah, I read a book and lucky like it made yeah. me world and I want to be with you. It just cuts like that. Come on, Darky. Hey man, that was that was a little Darky. When the world end. Um, I I think I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me go ahead and scroll down and hit give my guy a little like on that. Um, I really enjoyed that. And actually, I think I see here. Oh, nearest one is in where? Let's check this out. Check this out real quick. I I pod. I know they're saying they say name you the video reaction. I just want to check. I just want to check. I just want to check. No, it's my channel. Fuck yeah, niggas. I don't know why I'm apologizing. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I can't see this, but it's in Santa Ana, California. That's the closest one to me soon. And June 14th, Lil Dark is having a concert. That's too far. That's too far for me. Unless, you feel me? Unless the Lil Darky fans would like to bless your guy with some, you know, some, some super thanks and some donations. Let me know, man. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'll, I'll pull up um, to Santa Ana, California. But if not, again, I appreciate you just checking the channel out. And of course, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel to continue to see my reactions. Leave a comment down below what you think, what you want to see next. And um, until next time and until the next video, dreamers. Stay safe, stay humble, keep your mind sharp, and don't let things infiltrate it.